Hey guys, it's Gerald. Um, today is um, November 12, 2014 and it's almost 11 p.m. right now. But I'm gonna talk about um, expenses. Um, mostly my monthly expenses. Um, besides food, um, I'm gonna talk pretty much um, what I spend. Um, but um before that um when i got my my rv van um this is what i spent um i, I got my i got the windows tinted and i spent um 220 dollars for that i put a backup camera i spent 143 dollars and I, I have this thing called hd vision it helps with the sun so you can see better uh, on the sunny days i spent 17 dollars a forever comfy it's for um uh, for the chair so you know you, it's comfortable when you sit i spent 22 dollars um i bought a heavy duty 12 volt adapter um it's 55 dollars but now I, I i don't use it as much so i, I set it aside and about miscellaneous two hundred dollars. This is when I I got my van and what I what I bought, what I you know what is what I spent for. Um, I bought a Makita tools for one hundred and thirty two dollars, and that's basically to help me install my um, my solar panel. And I bought a fifty five gallon barrel for my extra tank for water. It's basically my um, my shower or yeah my shower water so uh, that's fifty dollars and for the solar panel system uh, for the solar system for the solar panel uh it's a 205 watts and i spent 250 dollars for that and that's basically um a dollar 22 per watts so it's pretty good price and at uh, the charge controller um, it's a 30 amp uh, maximum uh, 12 volt 24 volt charge controller and it's a 30 dollar for that about the inverter and 800 watts it's pretty good um, I paid 90 dollars for that and the battery holder um, for two I paid 25 and the battery itself for two it, batteries um, from Costco it's $210 so it's 105 each and it's 115 amp hour so I have a 230 amp hour and for the the gauge the wires um, for the solar panels I, I I bought three of them I believe they're eight feet each and it's a 12 gauge wire I spent $25 for that so that's my expenses when I got my van. Um, that's how much I spent just to get me like to get me comfortable. So and let's see here. And this is my monthly expense here. Um, like um, let's see here for gas. Let's see since because I got my van on like I believe. Yeah, when I got my van, it was like full tank, so I really didn't get gas until um, July 15. I'm not sure this is the time I start recording, but well, it's July 15 that I, I start writing it down. But I spent $62.44, and on August 8, um, I spent eighty one dollars eighty four cents, and since then the gas has been going down. I'm very happy about that. And um, uh, August twenty second, I spent seventy five dollars eighty one cents. September first, I spent fifty dollars forty seven cents. And I I really try to get um to fill up my tank. Um, when it gets like halfway i don't want to wait until it's you know very low in gas but yes uh, um, i don't wait for for the for my gas to get low and on 
September 9th, I paid. Ooh. The heck? Well, I don't have the price here. I don't know why. Yeah. I have my receipts, but I gotta look, go look for it. But I guess I didn't put the price. But yeah, September 9th and September 19th, I don't have the price. That's weird. Uh, well, shoot. I guess September 19th, I spent um, $64 somewhere. But um, October 4th, I spent. What the heck is my note? Sometimes I don't even get it. Um, I spent about $65 on um, October 4th. And let's see, page 2. Um, um, October 18th, I spent. This one, I'm, I'm more in details now. I spent, um, how much is that? I spent 21 plus 46 dollars. So that's, um, 60, about 67, 68 dollars. And that was when the gas is three dollars and 19 cents per gallon. And last time I got gas, it was on um, November 2nd. Um, the gas was three dollars and five cents uh, per gallon, and I spent fifty plus fifteen, so that's sixty-five dollars twenty-four cents. So, and I've been putting my van. I've been putting how much MPG I get. So, during that time, I got ten point seven six miles per gallon. So as as you know, as the more the time goes, I, I put more 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 detail notes. Okay, so let's go with propane. For my propane, I mostly use it for um, my my fridge, and I cook now. I cook more since I started my diet. I cook more often. But um, yeah, like on six twenty eight, June twenty eighth, um, I filled up my propane tank, uh, six point three gallon for twenty two dollars sixty cents. July twenty six, two thousand fourteen, seven gallons, point uh, seven point three gallon, uh, twenty six dollars eighteen cents. Um, August twenty second, two thousand fourteen. 6.8 gallon, $22.42. Um, September 21st, 14, I mean, 7 gallon, 7.2 gallon, $25.82. And last time I filled it is um, October 22nd, 2014, 7.1 gallon, uh, $25.40. 46 cents so i filled my tank my propane tank ev about every month so with the about every month for about 25 dollars and what else my expenses here so the my my black waste when i dump it i pay 20 dollars each um it's it's very close to my works about three miles so i, I like my location my work um, everything around my work, I have like everything I need, like my, my parking is very close and nobody bothers you. I've been parking there since July, 2014 and yeah, I've been parking there for months now and nobody bothers you. Um, anyways, for the black tank waste, uh, the, when I dump it, um, I started, I started dumping it on the um june 23rd 20 that's 20 dollars july 21st 20 dollars august 22nd 20 dollars and last time i dumped it is um october 1st and i'm gonna dump it pretty soon 
may this month or maybe I mean this week or maybe next week pretty soon so but this this time it's like it's all all like a month and a half mostly I dump it within like in a month apart but this time I haven't really used my bathroom my toilet as much so it lasted me longer okay what else is here um so that's pretty much it for my expenses um i don't really monitor my food i would say about 200 a month for the food um well uh also let me go by the power monitoring when i got when i first got my i installed my solar panel i start monitoring my um power like how much power i get within 24 hours uh within yeah 24 hour period like um on uh june 10th i got 54 amps uh june 11th 40 amps this is the period when i was i had a, a month vacation on june until like june 30th so i didn't go back to work until july 1st but yeah i was i was getting 54 amps 40 43 47 and i installed a new battery that I, I got from costco on the 14th so i didn't put the um the power i i've got from that but um the next day the 15th they got 67 you got 68 67 72 and this is the summer season so uh, you know it was very sunny so that's why i was getting a lot of um amps on this um 69 40 59 70 64 57 50 and pretty much i was doing that for a month i was monitoring my my power for a month so we are 60 51 57 so uh, like i was getting around 50s you know average so and after that i stopped monitoring them but i know now it's a colder it's all like you know it's a lot a lot of um cloudy days so i'm getting less i would say about 30 amps but um i've been using less power i haven't i, I I don't use my TV anymore. I, I hardly actually. I, yeah, I haven't used it for a while. I just use my tablet, my, my my Surface Pro and my my cell phone. So that's in a low um, low consumption. But let me. What else here? I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys like my videos, please subscribe. Um, if you have questions, want to leave comments, just put them in the comments um, section. Alright guys, talk to you later. Okay, bye.